Hey gang, it's Arielle again. Let's get right into The Bold and the Beautiful from April 22nd to April 26th. So I told you guys before, Stephanie and Liam got married at the end of last week and now they are officially husband and wife. Yes! Hope didn't end up crashing even though she wanted to. She talked herself out of it. She didn't go to the wedding. She didn't make an ass out of herself. Stephanie got married in that black skin tight with the lace outfit on a motorcycle when she rode in. Um, got married to Liam. It was beautiful. Then Liam hired this group to sing. I don't know who the group was. I'm sorry if you guys know and I should know. They didn't say the name. I would think that he would have said, oh, here's so-and-so, but he didn't. So I guess it's some famous group that she loves. I don't know. But anyway, it was beautiful. They had the reception at the house. It was so nice. And then Liam surprised her for her honeymoon. I'm thinking to myself, okay, they're going to be going somewhere exotic, somewhere beautiful, somewhere warm somewhere with beaches he takes her behind to aspen i guess it's because that's where they really fell in love and that's her favorite place blah 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 i'm like really liam you couldn't have gotten on the private jet and taken her to like freaking bora bora or something but anyway it's cute that's where they wanted to go she loves it i'm so excited for them i was afraid hope was going to randomly be going to aspen too thank god she decided not to because i was just waiting for her to rain on their parade and just happen to show up there but she didn't. She's still in L.A., so I want Steffi and Liam to enjoy themselves. And even if it's only for a little bit, because you know how the bold is. Can't be happy for too long. I hope they have a little bit of excitement and fun. I love them. Now, I told you about how Hope wanted to crash the wedding and about how she basically is miserable. She knows that Liam is doing the right thing. She's miserable. Oh, well, get over it. You're the one that told him to marry her. Should have kept your mouth shut, dummy. But um, it's funny because now Brooke's trying to give her advice about moving on. And Brooke says, why don't you move on with Oliver? I fell out laughing. Now, Oliver, who we haven't seen much of, I think he's more like on recurring status. Oliver was like the DJ slash kind of a photographer for Forrester and he was with Hope. But then remember they had that party for Hope's graduation and Brooke accidentally slept with Oliver. And he didn't know it was her. She didn't know it was him. They found out and they told Hope she was devastated. So she forgave them both. But I think that would just be kind of weird for her to get back with him because he slept with her mom. Just not right. So Hope's like, oh, mom, I don't know. But whatever. I can't stand that girl. Um, she needs to go somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she should get back with Oliver. At least he'll preoccupy her time so she won't have time to think about Liam. I'll keep you guys posted, though, as to the status and what's going to happen with that. Because, I don't know, Hope's kind of pathetic in my eyes. But anyway, Donna, like I said before, Donna is the biggest idiot on the show. She basically is praising Brooke for being such a good sister, for having such a big heart for taking such good care of Katie and the family in Katie's time of need, battling her depression, and then with the recent incidents with Bill, and then with being there for her while she's been in the hospital. I'm like, Donna, are you the dumbest damn person on the planet? Weren't you the one who was suspicious of your sister? Weren't you the one who was pushing Katie to go investigate where, um, why Bill was at Brooks? What happened, Donna? You all of a sudden just are being duped by by Brooke. Brooke is not a smart person. Why are you so damn dumb? I can't stand her. She's so dumb. You dumb as rocks, Donna. The actress, though, who plays you is phenomenal. She plays you so well to be so dumb. Really? Your sister is a whore, not Katie. Brooke. Why would you think that she wouldn't still be a whore? You know she's known for sleeping with married men. Why wouldn't it be any out of her category for her to sleep with Katie? I mean, with Bill, Katie's man. She's a hoe. That's what hoes do. They're selfish. They don't think before they jump, clearly. But anyway, Donna is so stupid, praising Brooke, thanking her for being such a good sister. Brooke's being, having guilty feelings and feeling bad. Yeah, honey, you should feel bad. You slept with your sister's husband, and you not only slept with him, but you want him. You're still thinking about him. And I don't like her, but whatever. Um, she and Bill agreed not to be with each other because Katie, they need to be there for Katie. And so Bill decides to buy Katie this, gorgeous set of jewelry and you know Katie loves it and I think it's cute but I think he's just buying her material things when he's not emotionally there emotionally he's still with Brooke physically he's with Katie but emotionally he's with Brooke emotionally he and Brooke are together and I just find that to be extremely sad only because I think Katie played by actress Heather Tom who is my 
girl. Um, she's by far the best actress on the show, and I feel that she is getting the short end of the stick. I mean, she's already been in the hospital how many times? Heart attacks, heart conditions, gunshot wounds. The girl has been in the hospital ever since she got on the show. Can she get a damn break? I mean, all she wants to do is have her man and her child, but this hoe keeps messing it up. Curious to see how it's going to play out for the summertime. Now, are we thinking that Katie's going to find out anytime soon that he slept with her? I'm curious, and I can't wait to see how this is going to tear the family apart. Will it be like a Brooke and Hope slash Brooke and Bridget situation where Hope and Bridget are mad at Brooke for five minutes and then they get over it? Or I want it to be where it's not a five minutes. I want Katie to be like, I am scratch you off my list done with you. I want Katie to be like, I am so over you. I don't ever want to see you again. I hope you die. Kind of. I hate you. I don't know if they're going to do that only because I feel like the Logan sisters are so close. I am praying though that they, oh that would just be the great division that would just divide. Oh what if Katie went inside it with Taylor? Oh that would be the bomb right there. Just another person to be on Team Taylor. So I love it. Let's see what else. Oh Towards the end of the week, Lieutenant Baker has been snooping around, trying to find out about this car accident. Now, to be honest with you, I really don't know why he cares that much, but I guess I had to give him something, you know, some kind of a storyline, and it had to have this not go away. So I'm excited to see uh, how this is going to play out, because we all know that Brooke hid, no, she had his car, Bill's car towed to the shop, and then Taylor overheard Lieutenant Baker asking questions. So now Taylor's becoming more suspicious. This is the one thing I don't like about the writing, though, because I love Taylor. She's my favorite. I think Taylor is emerging herself too much in this business. Why? She loves Katie, and she wants... She hates Brooke. She wants Katie to get better, and she wants Katie to stay better, so she doesn't want Brooke to mess anything up. So I understand that, but I think Taylor's just getting a little too involved with this. Kind of like what Bill said to her. Why are you still in my business? Like... Taylor, I love you, but back up. Back up. Like, you should be living with Eric and chilling with him. Why are you bugging out? And I still love you, though, boo. It's okay. And something else that happened. I told you that Rick made Maya the spokesperson for Hope for the Future, which I think is the dumbest name for a fashion line. Hope for the Future. Gag me. It is so corny sounding and such a mess. But whatever. Maybe I'm biased because I don't like Hope. That's probably it. I don't care. I don't like her. I can't stand her. And she's corny as hell to me. But anyway, Maya's a new face. And you know, Caroline is hating because Caroline does not like her. But like I said before, Caroline has a reason not to like her because Rick is trifling right now, kind of dating two women at once. Not cool. So that's pretty much your recap for the bold for April 22nd to 26th. If you guys have anything you want to hear me talk about, anything about summertime murder mysteries that you want to see or anything, give me a shout out on Twitter at at Scarielli. That's at S-C-A-R-I-E-L-L-E-Y. Again, at Scarielli. Hit me up on Twitter. I love the bold, love talking about it, love watching it. Um, we can do some trivia. We can discuss if we want Rich to come back or a new actor to play entirely for them to throw a new man in the, in the mix. What do you guys want? And I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.